is the 20 minute practice with Caleb and Powell. We're gonna get started here right away with some jogging. Get the legs loosened up. Got a nice sunset workout today. Today we're focusing mostly on legs and core. You're always activating the full body, instead. but we have specifically those two areas of your body today. And we're gonna to move to some high knees. Get the hips nice and loose. And we're gonna come back to the center, plant both your feet, and we're gonna do some hip openers. All the way up, stretching the hip out. One more on each side. Then we're going to take a deep breath, stretch your hands all the way up over your head, and release into a cactus. We're going to do one more. This time we're going to go all the way down, and exhale, you can interlock your hands here, and kind of rock back and forth, taking all the pressure off your back. Stretching through the hamstrings and calves. And we're going to slowly roll up each vertebrae one at a time. And we're going to stretch over into a downward dog. Moving each side, one after the other. Move into your plank position. We're going to go down and do a push up. And then upwards into a cobra. Stretching out the core. And then today we are going to work. Okay. First exercise. We're going to stay down on our butts and we're going to move into a crunch. So I'm going to spin around here. Make sure that your butt is supported. Hands are going to go behind the head. And you're going to go down and then crunch up and squeeze through the core. 45 seconds, starting now. Stretch down a little bit. Now, you can modify this. If you have a block or something that you want to hold, you can add a little weight. And also go across the body. And to modify, if you need to do a shorter range of motion, you can. But make sure that you focus on your breathing. Nine seconds, keep going. Six. All right, we've got a 15 second break here. Next, we're gonna stay down on our butts and we're gonna move our legs up in an angle pattern. So legs up and down. We're going to rest the back up in the air. You can put your hands down for a foundation. We're going to arch them up. Lots of control through your core. There you go. 20 seconds left. You can do it. You are powerful. You can. 15 seconds remain. Keep pushing. We're going to take a great improvement to our midsection today. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Two quick breaths. We're going to go back into our crunches. I'm going to turn around so I don't knock my noggin here on the wall. Once again, feel free to modify with something, but let's get into it. 45 seconds. And if you need to pad under your tailbone with a towel, feel free to do so. Just try not to build your platform up too high off the ground because that can be hard on your lower back. 17 seconds, keep pushing. 
working hard on a Sunday so that you can work hard on a Tuesday. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one. All right, great job. Then we're gonna move back in to our A-frame houses. That's what I like to call them. <laughs> All right, three, two, one, and. We know it burns. <laughs> we know it's tough, because we're in there with you. But with 30 seconds left, you can push through the end. It's like a downhill race at this point. 30 mile an hour wind to your back. And all you have to do is work on your core for 20 more seconds. Ten more seconds and you're done. Finish strong and grab a drink of water. Great job. Whew. Okay, we're moving into some legs. That was a killer one. We're gonna grab your, well, grab your pain and place it above your knees. First exercise is gonna be a bridge plus and abduction. So staying down on your back, opening your feet hip width distance, send your hips up, maybe add a little abduction here and then come down. We have 45 seconds on the clock. We start now. You just really engage into your glutes and your quads and your legs. Feel your feet planted on the floor, but push specifically through the heels. Imagine you can hear, you can dig your heels down into the earth. If you have weights at home, this is a great exercise to place some more some weight here. Or maybe just like a, I don't know, a soap bottle or something heavy. You Bag have about flour. 10 seconds here. Just not a bag of sugar. <laughs> Three, two, one, and time. Great job. Let's go into a tabletop position. Next exercise is a donkey kick. So push into your hands. You're going to lift the right heel up to the sky and then release it back down. So the knee touches the floor and then elevates all the way up and your heel wants to touch the floor, keeping your knee bent. And here focusing all the energy on the right glute. Imagine you can squeeze as hard as you can as you lift your heel up to the sky. And then focus a little energy also on the core. Squeeze your core, maintain it tight for the last 18 seconds. And also take your case either in between your hands or a little forward so your head can be straight aligned with your spine. You have eight, seven, six. And time, great job. Let's come back on, on the way, on the, on the, I forgot the, the word, on the mat. And moving into your bridge plus abduction. Second round with entry, two, one, and here we go. So it's the last time that you do this exercise. I want you to focus all of your energy on your glutes. In, can you notice the difference between glute, right glute and left glute? If you want to add some spice, maybe doing a double pulse up and a double abduction. That would just intensify the sensations. And you Building can feel the burn. Skin. Yes, you can feel the burn. That's true. You have about 12 seconds to go. That's it. Almost there, almost there. Last three, two, one, and time. Great job. Come in your force and do the donkey kick on your left leg. And it's the last time we do this, we move into core after. We start in five seconds. Nice deep breath, open your knees underneath your hips. And here we go. Same thing, if you wanna pull, uh, take yourself in another level today, challenging yourself, you can do a double uh, kick up, like a double pulse. And you have about 30 seconds left. Remember, engage through your core, strong spine, strong back. Almost 
Then was there last 18 seconds. When you can touch the ceiling or the sky with your heel. Four, eight, seven, six. And time, beautiful. Ooh, okay. That's a good one. We're moving to court again, baby. All right, here we are for some bicycles now. This is not your traditional bicycle. This is going to work your core. So we're going to lay down on our back. Once again, support behind the neck. We're going to bring the elbow to the knee across the body. And I care more about the control than I do the speed. You have the option to do this with or without your band. And control your core and allow some time under tension to really stretch through those muscles. About 10 more seconds. Push hard. <laughs> Woo! Taking that band up. Now, we're going to move into some flutter kicks. So, stay in position. We're going to kick your toes up in the air, back and forth. Control the core. Three, two, one. Let it flutter. Now again, you can support your neck. You can keep your hands down the side. If you want to make it spicy, put your hands up in the air. Raise your chest, kind of like a, a banana. Yeah. You can oh. also place your hands under your sacrum if you need support like me. And remember that that can change daily. Every day is a new experience. And with 15 <laughs> seconds left, you're going to make the most out of this experience. Come on, finish strong to the last 10. You can kick it out. All right, 15 second breathing. Now catch your breath here. We're going back into those bicycles. So it is only 50 seconds. We know it's tough. You can push through. We believe in you at home. We're gonna get started here in five, four, three, two, one. And ride that bike, all right. really working it today. So you will sweat, but you will also likely be sore tomorrow. And that's what you're looking for. A little body growth, a little stretch. Finish strong here. And if you want to challenge yourself, speed that bicycle up. You got two options. Pretend you're riding away from something or just pretend you're going down the hill. You like to take the lazy way out. Both are going to let you imagine what it's like to ride faster, 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 faster. All right, 15 seconds. We're going back into our flutter kit. There we go. All right, now this is the last 50 seconds. 45. 40, 45. Oh, yeah, we're, this is break time today. We got 45. There you go. Pretend you're walking. The desert, and at the end of this is a nice cold glass of water. <laughs> and you can do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> we both believe in you. Yes, we do. There you go. 15 seconds left. We got it. This is the final stretch with eight seconds left. Yes, congratulations. Oh my goodness, already. Go, uh, go ahead and grab your uh, bed one more time, place it above your knees. Your next exercise is staying here on a supported side plank, I wanna call it like that today. And then you're gonna just open your knees apart. If you wanna add some spice here, you can lift the knee, the hip up as you open your knee. And we're gonna start 45 seconds. Whatever you want to do today, if it's just opening the knee or lifting your hips still. 
Make sure your core is strong here and you're not collapsing your shoulder. Instead, you're pushing through your forearm. So your, strong, your shoulders are strong here too. 30 seconds on the clock. With your right hand or the hand that is available, not on the floor. You can place it before, behind your head, maybe on your hips. Maybe lifting the, lift the fingertips up. Whatever feels good, it feels good balance. Just focus on the energy on the inner tights, quads and glutes for the last six, five, four, and time. Good job, come all the way up. Next exercise is an open to narrow squat plus a heel lift. So stay down here in your squat, you're gonna open to narrow, open to narrow, and then a little heel lift. Three, two, one. Here we go, 45 seconds here. Maybe your hands on your hips, maybe close to your heart, whatever feels the best. Engaging all the muscles here of your legs. When you lift your heels, make sure you can focus your energy on your calves. You have about 20 seconds on the clock. So maintain your hips low here, opening your knee and your whole foot. You have about 10, nine. Almost there, almost there. Stay with us. Three, two, one, and time. Great job. Maybe on the other side for us is the right one. So let's open the knee up, maybe incorporating the, the hip lift as well. This is your choice. We start in three seconds. Deep breath through your nose. And here we go. 40 seconds on the clock. And this is uh, the last two exercises of this workout. These 20 minutes have flown by. We have a beautiful sunset down here, the golden hour. It's been a golden 20 minutes, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the last 15 seconds of this exercise. Close your eyes if you need to focus your energy on the muscles working. Because your connection of your mind with your muscles is the most important thing of this practice. Three, two, and ten. Great job. Come all the way up. Let's do the open to narrow squat. Close your heels lift. Starting in eight seconds. Oh, yeah. Let's do the last right. exercise. Three, two, one. Here we go. Maintain your hips low here. Like if you're sitting on a chair. About 35 seconds left. You're so close to be done. Almost there, almost there. You have 22 seconds left. Engage your mind with your muscles working, your glutes, your quads, your inner tights. Palms are working a lot when you lift those heels up. Focus the energy there for eight, seven, six, three, two, and time. Great job, everyone. Go ahead and remove your band. We have about just two minutes to, work, to cool down. So come into a downward face, downward facing dog. Sending your hips up to the sky. Just take a quick second here to shake your head yes and no. Let it go. And as well, drop your knees down to the floor. Send your heels towards your, your hips towards your heels. And rest a little bit here. Last breath here. And it's only moving into your cat and cow. Drop in your belly, lift your gaze and your tailbone, and then look into your belly. Inhale, open your chest, lift the tailbone and your gaze. Exhale, round the spine. And slowly stop the movement. 
Make your way into downward facing dog. Send the hips up and back. And then send your gaze in between your hands and a step or jump forward. Good. As you inhale, half lift. As you exhale, fold and release. Maybe you can grab your hands with opposite, uh, your elbows with opposite hands and side, side to, uh, sway side to side. And slowly let go of the hands, wrap the all the way up. Last thing that comes up is the head. Let's take a little side stretch before finishing. Rise your arms all the way up, inhale. Exhale, grab a hold of your left wrist, take a side and turn to the right. Come back to neutral, grab your opposite hand or your opposite wrist. One more time in each side, come on up. And last side, come up to neutral. Great job, give yourself a nice big applause for the amazing today. Great job. Thank you for sticking with us, we'll see you next workout. Absolutely. Bye-bye.